up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! We got a new product for you. Come on. Let's check her out. Uh, this is going to be something really cool. Definitely looking forward to showing you. This is the unboxing video. This is not the video that's me endorsing it 100%. I will tell you right now, the Tool Organizer is the today's video. And Tool Organizer, I, I they I just seen an Instagram post and asked about some wrench racks. And uh, they was like, yeah, sure. Uh, do you want anything else? And I was like, I don't know. What, you know, what all do you have? And he sent me a giant box. Um, giant box of uh, Tool Organizer stuff. And uh, we're going to, I'm going to flip you around here. And we're going to kind of just thumb through this. And uh, maybe I hopefully I can get in here and get the camera in here at some angle and some some sort of angle in some way show you guys everything in here. Also, before you click off the video if you've gotten salty, which honestly if you did get salty, please click off the video. <laughs> honestly, uh, I, the neg I don't want the negativity, but the we're gonna have a live giveaway because two organizer two organizer offered up a giveaway for my channel on Friday. So I hope you are, if, you, if you're a subscriber and you're, you come to my live streams, this is going to be a little op opportunity for you to get something. Now, I do, I do have some three things that I ask for you to do that. First of all, be subscribed to me when you come because it's just rude. If you're just coming to get free stuff, uh, you know, I like the fact that my, you know, I have a pretty good following on Fridays. And uh, it'd really be nice if, you know, the people were loyal to come there, get a good shot at doing this too. Uh, follow Tool Organizer on Instagram because uh, I think that's only shows fairness to them and appreciation to them for them doing it. And three, hopefully you're following me on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, that's fine. I understand. But one, you should be able to do at least one of the three or two of the three. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I, I think it's just common sense and, and just natural respect. And I just, I think we need to kind of really teach people that a little bit. A lot of people just kind of, <laughs> I don't know, for whatever reason, get salty and, you know, whatever. So anyways, guys, let's flip this around. Let's check it out. Hey guys, so here we go. Here's the box of stuff they sent me. It's <laughs> overflowing with stuff. We got plier racks. Uh, kind of check these out. I'll try to get some stuff out of here. There's the plier rack. Pretty nice. Comes with magnets on, on the back of it. You can see the... Uh, this is 3D printed, so you're going to notice some rough markings here because that's how the 3D printing goes. Now, if you guys don't know what 3D printing is, basically it's a, a plastic that's printed up via a computer program. But you can see how it uh, makes lines and what it is. It just kind of just zzz, kind of stitches it. I don't know how to explain it. It kind of just just zips it in, you know. Um, look at that. Just It just kind of goes around and it keeps kind of just... Cutting it back and forth, so um, pretty pretty nice, not bad at all. I don't. Uh, I will tell you that three D printing is is it can be brittle. I will tell you that right now. But I want to tell you that Samuel was a nice enough guy. He told me to be he would he was willing to accept criticism. So with that being said, you know we're we're gonna test these out that's why i said this is unboxing we're gonna test these out and see and and i not only that i know that he also said that they will be going to uh injection molding and obviously injection molding is a little bit more um advantageous for um mass production now another thing i want to tell you is, is that he told me that he started making these uh just just started making them because people used to come to his toolbox and uh, look at his stuff and be like, hey, man, that's pretty cool. And he started making them for other people. So that's pretty awesome, too, that he's just a average dude that was uh, started turning these things out. These are like uh, ratchet holders, uh, little V-jobby -jo -V deals, so you can set your ratchet in there. Sorry. Let me get a little – set your handle in there. They got some other jobber dealies that uh, go in here. I don't know exactly. I haven't looked it through. The, there's no instruction manual with this. I just got all this. But uh, wrench racks. Whoops, dropped some stuff. The magnets are strong. Wrench racks. This is the bigger size. It comes vertical or it comes uh, slanted. 
32, 30, 28, 27. Like how the numbers are, well, you know, pretty bright on there. Definitely good to see. That's really cool. More plier racks. Uh, these are definitely pretty cool. I, w w you know, I'm looking forward to... Was that a plier rack too? Let's open this up. Let's let's see what's going on here. Just to make sure. They look like plier racks to me. They really packaged them down in there good. This is the first unboxing, like I said, guys. I don't... Didn't even expect this. Really blown away at the fact that he did this. Pretty cool. Yep, more plier racks, so that's cool. Um, so we'll try some of those out. You know, guys know that I've used the tool assort wire racks. These are really cool tool. Real, really cool tool. Really cool too. Sorry, I can't talk. M12 Milwaukee battery holders so that you can have a place to put your, uh, batteries instead of letting them float around. Put them in your power drawers or whatnot like that. Um, screw them or, you know, put some magnets in there. Whatever works for you. And let's see here. See what else we got. Oh, bit holder. Kind of neat. You can see the size of this bit holder. Um, one thing I would say is that I would like to see like numbers on here. It would be really cool. But majority of speaking, you know, these are visual. When you put your bits in there, you can kind of see them. So but definitely pretty cool. They definitely have a good magnet system on them there. Uh, pretty pretty uh, heavy duty, to say the least. See if I can get a... The old, I got the old Coke and 3 8 ratchet over here. It should hold down pretty good. Yeah. All four of them on contact with the surface. We're going to see how they do hold up through thicker drawer liners. That'll be the next interesting thing, too, to see. Probably be some trials and tribulations with this stuff. We got, uh, I guess, some more screwdriver holders. That's what these look like here. Let's open these suckers up. Like I said, guys, this is an unboxing. Yeah, these are screwdriver holders. Do I have? A, I probably got a crappy Quinn one. Quinn one sitting right here. Ha! Perfect. Uh, get these set in the right way. Yeah, look at that. Even holds junky Harbor Freight ones. Uh, you know, so no discrimination against anybody on this. Fits in there really nice. Pretty cool. Handles in there. That's not, that's, that's not terrible. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Screwdriver holders will definitely be kind of pick, picking screwdriver holders. Uh, they'll definitely be interesting to, uh, I don't have, I use, uh, I use a lot of mechanics time saver stuff, and I'm pretty happy with it when it comes to some of that stuff. So, that will, uh, we'll see if some of that can sway me off of that. But, uh, more of these little V-notch holders. We got a ton of these. Um. Uh, See, we got a lot of wrench racks in here. And guys, whatever I don't use or don't need, don't be, don't be, uh, don't be surprised if I ask some, you know, if I, I give away some on the, to some of my subscribers to share. And like I said, they're tool organizer, tool organizer. Plus, I have a discount code. If you do want to buy some, it's CP Tool is twenty percent off. Uh, these little do hickeys here, I'm guessing are for sockets. Uh, maybe some. Uh, Allen hot sockets and whatnot. Not sure what the heck. Bigger bits and whatnot. Uh, we'll definitely. I'm gonna have to look into those and see what those are. There's so many pieces and parts in here. Oh boy, dumping everything. This box is just packed with stuff. I'm looking through the camera, digging through this, is making me dizzy. Ha! Uh, more. Holy smokes! Look at that. You got some different wrench. Uh, that is some, we got some different, man, this one's really, this one's really beefy compared to the other one. This is really stout. We're going to, we're going to check them out. We're going to definitely take a look at some of this stuff. Really put our, you know, put some time and effort into this, you know, and kind of see what works and what doesn't work. Uh, we got metric standard. You guys know I have a lot of wrenches. Uh, man, I have a lot. Of, that's, that's really all I was looking for was wrenches, but man, they didn't, they didn't mess around. We've got more tool holders, pick holders, whatnot. More wrench rack. Oh, geez, Louise. I just got to pile them. These, these should be good for stubbies and, you know, any size length. They're about nine inches long. 
which is uh, really handy, so you can kind of offset stuff, whatnot. And the price is really affordable for guys that are looking for a little bit better deal on stuff. But, man, 23 up to 32 metric or for my... We're going to see how these work in my toolbox, in my drawer, my wrench drawer. Pretty, pretty interesting stuff here, guys. Definitely not terrible. Um, going to be cool to see... And I, and, I, and I would like to uh, also ask you guys, please don't say something in the comment box like, uh, you know, I'm going to 3D print these now. You know, that's, you know, that's just foolish. Um, you know, be respectful of this, guys. This is a this is a guy that's doing it. He's doing this on his own. He, he's, you know, it's it's his business. And, uh, you know, I, I support that. I really do. He's an American guy. And, you know, he's doing America, he's building this in America. He's going to have injection molding, hopefully, in America, I suppose. But uh, he definitely, I mean, he packaged these all himself, wrapped all this stuff. Here I am tearing it all up like a heathen. But, uh, you know, respect that a little bit. This is pretty cool. Uh, different, Something different, guys. Something different, that's for sure. So we're going to check all these out, and we're going to kind of go through them and see what, uh, what we like, what we don't like, and give Samuel some good information, some constructive positive you know and see if, if what we like and what we don't like on this and find out from the tool organizer aspect and then you know the prices on these are definitely a lot lower than a lot of other stuff so it's really cool that this is giving people an option to look at stuff i will i will see if it's going to work for me or not work for me and let you guys know so anyways guys thanks for watching appreciate you remember to like comment share subscribe don't forget to be on light it Friday's live stream, if you want to be entered in to the $50 giveaway for the Tool Organizer and CP the Tool 20 will be, the, or CP Tool will get you 20% off if you want to get any of the, these products from uh, Tool Organizer right now. So I appreciate you guys. Remember, keep your, ring that bell, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.